what are three mistakes that all new editors make? Are you referring to a video that I made? I have no idea um, what you're talking about, sir. Okay, good. <laughs> well, in that video, the, the mistake number one is um, they don't look at the footage before they start editing. So that would be the first thing. Like, see everything that you have and start selecting. I think selecting is more important than the actual putting it together. If you have a system where you know, okay, these are the great moments. This is how I felt when I saw it the very first time. And I'm going to make sure I won't forget about this in terms of building select reels or marking it, writing it down, whatever your system is. You need to make sure you remember how you feel the first time that you see the footage and see it all before you start editing so you're not stuck. You're not editing yourself into a corner. You've seen a little bit, you like have a hunch, you start cutting away and now you're stuck there and you're not, you're not telling the best possible story that's out there. So that's number one. Number two is, this is very specific, the lack of using J and L cuts. So really understanding <laughs> at what a J cut is and how it helps to make that cut invisible and make it flow in a way that it feels natural, like just a head turn. So a J cut is where the audio comes before the video. Right. So somebody already starts talking before we cut to them. And you don't have to use that all the time, but when you use it correctly, you can make a scene just flow. It's smooth. It smooths it all out. Yeah. And the last one is to not have a workflow or not test the workflow. So just going through spending an hour before you start cutting your next short or feature and just going from taking the footage into the system, figuring out how you're gonna organize it, figuring out cutting a little test scene, outputting that and giving that to whatever the end product is, whether you get, go to DaVinci and a DCP or whatever it is, just do a test run of the entire workflow chain before you commit to it, because it's ever changing. Every time I start a new feature, there's a new camera, there's a new software upgrade, there's a new compression. So I cannot keep up with what's happening technically. I need to use what's the best technology at the moment that it's available, and I need to learn it right away through this test. Yeah, I was, that was one of the questions I was gonna ask you. Can you please discuss the importance of understanding post-production workflow? I've been yelling and screaming from the top of the mountaintop how ridiculously important it is for filmmakers to understand workflow. And a lot of times editors say, oh, I can, I can do, I'm a post supervisor. I can, I can run through this whole workflow for you. But from camera to edit to color to final deliverable, and then not to mention audio as well, getting those audio files out, bringing yes. them back in and putting it all together, what an online editor is versus a creative editor, and that whole process – it's not complicated, but you've got to go through it because if not, you will – you could – I mean I literally remember a film. I'll never forget this film. It was a wrestling film when The Red – remember when The Red showed up mm -hmm. and the workflow was uh, challenging to say the least. And they, there's this poor kid who had shot like a $250,000 feature. Had been, it's been in his hard drive for yeah. about a year and a half because he could not find anyone who could understand how to get the workflow right. And I, he came to me because he heard I was one of the red, red guys that could handle the workflow. And I looked at him, I'm like, it's going to cost this much, dude. I, can't, I mean, I can't. This is going to be, yeah. it's, it's like I, I almost got to recut this from scratch. Like, you know, match cut it, you know, by yeah. eye. Because they didn't even have time code on their damn reference file. That they, I mean, it was just ridiculous. And he's, oh, and it, I, I finally came out, but it took him two and a half years. Why? Because they didn't test workflow. Yeah, I had funny story is I actually turned on a movie because I looked at the red dailies. And I'm like, this this looks awful. I didn't understand. What oh, back, oh, back. Is, oh, originally, what flat is. <laughs> and I'm like, who shot this? This is terrible. This is terrible. It looks I'm, so bland. <laughs> I'm not editing any of this. It took me a while to. Oh, maybe there's a thing like a LUT or whatever. <laughs> so it's like I talk about workflow, but once I've done the test i don't understand any of it like right. i just need to know it's working the sound mixer at the end is happy and mm. then i just leave it up to the post supervisor or the assistant but we need to make sure um we we try it out before it goes